Hi, so in this video I'd like to show you how you can basically modify your Bruce Smith reports so that you can get the look and feel that you want. Now, everyone knows when you've got Bruce Smith installed, you create your recipe. Once you have that recipe selected, you can look at it in a few different formats. You've got the classic recipe, the brew sheet recipe, plain text, and a couple others. Now, the brew sheet recipe is the one that I use most often on my brew day. So on brew day, I'll come in here, I'll make sure all the values inside my recipe are as they should be, and then I'll print this thing out. I'll do like a print preview and then, you know, just come up here, click on print, and print it out through my printer. Of course, you can just click the print button. But some of the things that sort of annoy me are that I need to go through with a highlighter and highlight the values that I'm interested in. Most specifically are things like, you know, total water needed. Mash in is pretty important to me. Mash out, what are my volumes at what temperatures? Um, coming back down here, the uh, water to achieve the, fine, the, the boil volume. Uh, what's my uh, estimated pre-boil gravity? Um, estimated pre-boil volume here again. Estimated post-boil volume gravi gravity. Um, these are values that I'm very much interested in. And I have to go through with a highlighter just to sort of um, make them stand out. So how do I fix that? Well, Bruce Smith has this great functionality that allows me to create custom reports. And that's what I want to basically show you today. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this brew sheet report and we're going to make one with highlighted colors for those values that I'm most interested in. So let's go ahead and do that now. So because I want to copy the brew sheet report from the default installation of Brewsmith, I have to navigate to the Brewsmith installation. So I'll go ahead and open up uh, Windows Explorer, navigate to C drive, I'm on a 64-bit machine, so I'll go inside Programs, x86, and there I'll find the Brewsmith 2 folder. Inside there, there's a Reports folder, and if I double-click on this, I'll see copies of all the reports that Brewsmith uses. The one I'm interested in, thankfully it starts with a B, is up here at the top. What I'm going to do is open this up in Notepad so that I can see the markup and copy it so I can edit it in my HTML editor. You don't have to do this, of course. You can edit it inside Notepad if you feel comfortable there. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, what I like to do is I'll just copy the, the path up here. So I'll right click on it and choose Copy. And then I'll open up Notepad. And I'll choose File, Open. So in the file name, I'll just go ahead and post that, paste the file name in there, click open, and it will open automatically to that reports folder. These are not the right file types I need, so I have to change the file type uh, drop down menu. So let me go ahead and show you that. I'll click here where it says text documents, and I'll choose show all files. And now I see the HTML file. So I'll choose HTM, and I'll click open. Now this is just HTML markup. If you're not used to this, don't be overwhelmed. It's pretty easy once you get used to it, but I'm not really interested in editing it in here for your sake, so I want to make it easier to edit this and see it as we edit it, like in a WYSIWYG editor, like what you see is what you get. So I'm going to choose Edit, and I'm going to choose Select All, and I'll choose Edit, I'll choose Copy, then I'm going to open up Google. And inside Google, I can basically do a search for an online HTML editor. So that's exactly what I'll type. I'll choose online HTML editor, um, hit enter. And the first one that appears is this quackit.com one. And this one's actually not bad. Uh, it's very good. Actually, I was quite surprised. So I'll go ahead and click on that link. And here I open up the Quackit editor. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit because all I'm really interested in is this dialog down here that shows me this HTML editor. Now it comes with some default text and I don't really care about that. So what I'm going to choose is source. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to right click in here and choose select all. 
And because what was in my notepad is still on my clipboard, I'm just going to go ahead and choose paste and replace everything that was in there. Now, if I click back on source, now I see my brew sheet. Exactly as I would expect inside Beersmith. Except now I got all of these sort of funny dollar sign of, uh, name value pairs. And these are basically just template variables that Brewsmith automatically replaces with the actual values that you write inside Brewsmith. So the ones that I'm interested in are some of the ones that I highlighted earlier. For example, total, total water needed, right? What is the total water needed? I, I can just go ahead and select the whole thing, choose bold, and then come over here and actually select since it's water, I'll just go ahead and mark that with blue. Now I'll click away and now you can see that total water totally stands out compared to what it used to be. I'm going to scroll down. Here's my sparge steps, my first wart hop steps, my mashing steps. Then I'll come down and say what is my estimated pre-boil gravity or what is my add water to achieve, achieve a boil volume. Now I can go ahead and highlight that choose bold, now I'll choose like blue since it's water. Pre-boil gravity, since that's a gravity issue, sugar content, I'll bold it. Uh, sugar, 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 I don't know, how about, well it's sugar, so how about red. Uh, same thing with boil ingredients, estimated post-boil volume, you know, after I'm done boiling, what should that volume be? Well, it's water again, so let's go ahead and make that blue. Estimated post-boil gravity, again, sugar. I want that to stand out, so I'll choose red. I'll make that bold too. Anyways, I think you get my point. So all of the other values that you want to change in here from the defaults, you can go ahead and do that. Now, from this point, basically what I want to do is take the HTML markup and put that back into a custom report. So what I'll do is I'll choose source again so I see all the markup. I'll right click and choose select all. I'll right click again and choose copy. And then I'll come back into notepad which I had selected before. And I'm going to choose new because I want a new brew sheet. You could of course replace the old one but I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to choose paste. I'm going to choose file and save as. Now we actually want to save it inside the brew smiths custom reports folder. It doesn't like you modifying any of the default reports if your program files is locked down uh, for like Windows security. So the easiest way to do this is just go to your documents and Bruce Smith puts a folder in here for you. So in my documents and then Bruce Smith 2 and then there's a reports folder. If there isn't one there you can go ahead and create it. I'll open that up and I'm going to give this file name something custom that I'll remember. So I'll say like my brew sheet dot htm and then I don't want it to save it as dot htmm dot txt so I'll change the extension here save type as save as type choose all files and now when I choose save it will go ahead and save it as an htm file. Details that you don't necessarily need to know about but there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out of Notepad. Now I want to go back into Brewsmith and see my custom report. It's not yet showing underneath the reports list. I need to go underneath Tools, Options, Reports, and now click on Add Report. For this one, I'll say Colored Brew Sheet. It's of type HTML. HTM file, same thing. I'll choose the template file. It automatically opens up to my documents, Bruce Smith 2, and then reports. And here's where I find my brew sheet. Now, if it doesn't open up to this default directory, don't worry about it. Just click on my documents over here, Bruce Smith 2, there's the reports folder. Scroll down, find your report, and then click open. Once that's filled in, I'll go ahead and select OK. And now it's registered inside Bruce Smith. I'll select OK again. And now I'm going to look at this default recipe here, Australian Aussie Ale. Sorry. Open up the reports drop down, and now I can see colored brew sheet. If I select it, here's my brew sheet, 
and you can see the values that I changed in the HTML editor are now reflected inside my brew sheet. So now it's going to be easier for me to see the values that I was interested in and I don't have to go through the highlighter and highlight them all. Now when I go ahead and print or just preview the print, these numbers stick out a lot better. So that's how you can use Bruce Beardsmith reports to make your brew day that much easier. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.